Hey, what's up guys, it's Trav, and I am back again. I keep messing up with that. I keep saying that I. Every time I have a guest, I forget to tell that we are back again to try something else for you. This is the Reese's Outrageous Pieces. Don't worry about me. I, I This is like a behind the scenes. You shoot your, you live your life. Life sucks, and then you die. This is the Reese's Outrageous Pieces brought to you by my friend Dylan. He wanted me to review this, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it in with this because honestly, I was going to review it pretty soon by myself, so I figured I'll throw it in with Greg because all I had was the Gas Monkey energy drink, and I was like, all right, I'll throw it in too because you apparently haven't had this, have you? Not no. once. The Reese's Outrageous with Pieces, and I think I've had the regular Outrageous. I'm pretty sure that I have. It's not the Fast Break, which I get those confused. I really do get those confused. I can see why you would. The Outrageous uh, regular is pretty good, but with Pieces, let's find out how it is. If you're wondering, yes, I'm filming him with a handheld for some behind the scenes. Instagram TV. Mr. Happy 0121. I'm plugging it. I'll plug it. He's, he's going to be there. You're going to see awkward angles of him. If you ever want to see him from like underneath, Two feet away, Instagram TV. Yeah, if you want a view <laughs> to the left, like if you want to know what it's like to sit to the left of me, go watch this. If you ever wondered what it would look like if he was in the Kennedy seat and it was back into the Why left. Why did we get a paper plate? That's a good question. It's too far to walk, Trav. But get a paper plate. I almost He'll cut it. that part out. He's not that pushy on his channel. <laughs> Ones. All right, so we're opening it. Man, that looks really, looks like it's got warts or something along those lines. You, my friend, are the champion cutter. But you're the guest. In, on your channel. So I give you the cutting knife. His sarcasm. Do you want me to hold that? Oh no, this is, this is how you do it, kids. This is raw footage of all of it. Normally, my other co-host is a little immune to the thing I like to do with this, to just, like, act like, you know, but I won't do it. Because it looks like you're holding a machete. I won't do it to the <laughs> guest, because it makes him nervous. All right. For those of you in attendance, by the way, the joke is the knife is dull. See? And it has stains. Rust. Rust. The Reese is outrageous up close with the pieces. I can tell that actually you had lined that up really well, to be honest. It's not my first time. The pieces are very bulgy in this thing. I don't even know what the word is, but they're like, I didn't expect, I thought they were going to be like really inside them and really not, but they're on the surface big time. Yeah, man, it's full on in there. Reese's outrageous pieces. Let's give it a shot. And this is for Dylan. Thank you so much, Dylan. Bite one. I was caught unawares. I did not know that was caramel. This is what happens when you read the packaging. So apparently, there's caramel in this. Oh, you were caught unaware too? Apparently, it's caramel written really small in the package. I had no idea until I bit into it. I was caught unaware myself. That's pretty crazy. I really like this so far. You get that Reese's taste with the pieces. And pieces, you know, I kind of had to grow into them. I, I, as a kid, yeah, I would eat Reese's pieces just straight. And then as an adult, I was like, they're just not the same. They're a condiment, sir. I like them in things, but not on their yeah, own. Yeah, and like you said, the big cup with the pieces, that's actually pretty Hard good. To beat. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. And so this kind of has that, that flavor, that nice flavor, but obviously, like, when I bite into this, I'm almost waiting on the big cup, like, peanut butter. You know, like, for there to be a lot. I wasn't expecting caramel, I'll tell you that. I'm not complaining, though. Bite two. Behind the scenes and stuff and whatnot, are we just going to go ahead and grade this now, or what, what's your plan, boss? We are going to grade it. Okay. But it is your Instagram TV, so you can do what you want. I'm going to grade I'm going to film us talking about grading it, because it feels all inside baseball that way. A little bit. Did we take a third bite, or are we doing a third bite? I want a bite. I really, I really want to bite this again, but it's hard, because uh, like you got me on the system, bite one, two, and three, and I'm just like, I don't want to bite it again. Oh, wait, I can't until we do bite three. So, bite three. Aha. 
there's the last and final bite. You can see the pieces. It's just loaded with them. I was really surprised with how much they have in them. and But I'm very glad with that because it is, adds a nice, crunchy flavor. I'm going to say this. I'm the guy that likes to put my Reese's Cups in the refrigerator. I don't think this is going to be the product to do it with. You want to keep it cool, not hot. But if this was cold, I think it would be some work to get through the caramel we had, and uh, the peanut butter. <laughs> You had melted Reese's, like you just nuke it for just like a few seconds. Yeah, I'm not that guy, man. I like it. Um, it's just like the, but you have to stop it pretty quick because the chocolate melts over that fast, and all of a sudden it's just chocolate around the edges and just peanut butter only. Do you have like the microwave where you can set the heat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three out of ten, five seconds. I have a friend that loves it, and that's the absolute maximum way I've ever had it. I like it cold. I like to bite the outside of the ring because I'm a freak and then I eat the middle. But this, I think cold would be hard to chew through because it's a task even at a yeah. nice temperature. So we're going to go ahead and cheat since we only got one bite left. Bite four. <laughs> I'm going to give the Reese's Outrageous Pieces about a nine out of ten. That means I really enjoyed it. I mean, I really like it and I would definitely get it again. That's what I usually base my rating scale on. But what do you think, Greg? I'm gonna go with an eight out of 10. I liked it, I liked it a lot. I don't know what it was lacking, but it was lacking something. Maybe just more peanut butter. Like it, it, if it was more, like if they could make giant versions of the big cups that are like this, like basically like a foot long big cup. You put a thought <laughs> in my head, I blame you. If they made the same product, instead of Reese's Pieces, they put chocolate chips in, that's a hundred all day for me. They do have that for the big cup. Have you tried that yet? I have. I like that. It's pretty good. It's kind of like sometimes, though, when I'm chewing those, it's like those little bits just sometimes are like a little too hard and crunchy. Part of what the makes this. The pieces are like, you know, they they, they kind of have the same texture as the peanut butter. The, the caramel sauce. and the yeah. texture of the actual entirety of it. I, I think if it was chocolate chips, toffee, something, yeah. I think it has a chance it could be even better. Even maybe some kind of coffee flavor in there. Maybe a mocha. There you or go. something along those lines. A nice mocha. But let us know in the comments if you have tried. It's obviously very destroyed. The Reese's Outrageous Pieces. Have you tried any of the Reese's Outrageous? What's your favorite Reese's? I know there's so many Reese's fans out there, and I'm one of them. Let us know what your favorite Reese's in the comments is, because I want to know. Yeah, do that. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Please keep up with me here on Try Trace. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and all. That beautiful stuff, guys. And as for Greg, what do you have to say to the fans, the audience, the people that watch my stuff? Until next time, peace, love, and soul. What does that mean? Trav out, know. Greg out, and peace out. Yeah! <laughs>